Good afternoon, it's Tony Hayes and Parliament Investigation UK. Today's date is the 6th of February 2022 and today we're looking at movie 374 from the Chester Investigation. Now, the um, the building itself has been following it. Um, we're going to look at two a series of light anomalies. Now, in fact, great tip for... Uh, Good advice to investigators is that avoid using the word of orb or spirit tiles when you're dealing with um, light anomalies, it's too suggestive. Um, so, the first one there were two videos in, in total with these this uh, today, um, which is the 14th of July. First one is 2227. Uh, okay. Now, 99.9% of light anomalies you're going to be dealing with will be dust, airborne particles, and uh, insects, that type of thing. Um, they're not too difficult to analyse. You'll always find the odd one or two that, that just pushes you a little bit further, where you're not actually t fully sure what it is. There isn't a problem with that. The job is with whatever is being presented to you, you is to investigate it as thoroughly as possible. And on occasions, you may reach a conclusion that you simply don't know. There isn't a problem with that. You're not duty bound to say it's, it's paranormal or it's not paranormal or it's rational. Uh, sometimes you get stuff in front of you that you just haven't got any reason for it. Um, I think it's rare, I can't think of any occasions where we've actually said 100% certain that it's paranormal. Uh, it never quite works that way. One of the frustrations and also the interest of investigating this sort of stuff. So, there's one on here which undoubtedly is some form of airborne particle. Or um, maybe even dust, which is this one here. Let me just go back to the beginning. It's something just dropping off, and the infrared just lights it up like a beacon, and you only you know, you capture it through, and it works all the way through. That is undoubtedly that's all as it is. Now, on occasions, you may feel the need to take it a little bit further, in which, in which case, uh, all you need to do is go to enhancement and click on play speed settings and you can slow it down to, to slow pop on slow now when you look at it it'll just slow it down a little bit just dust it has that side to it you can always put it into windows media player if you've got more doubts you know is this the real deal type of thing um, and then again, you'll come up with something that isn't quite what you expected. And this is one of them. Um, I do actually think this is dust or similar, but the object is a perfectly circular ball. And in some respects, it looks like it's pulsing, which is the reason why I flagged this up for a little bit more attention. So let's have a look at this one. So, it, it, I suppose moisture could do the same. Um, yeah, it seems to be a number of them. I looked at it very quickly this morning and it just seemed to act a little bit differently than what I would normally expect something to do. So, what I'm actually going to do with this is to open it now in the uh, window uh, movie maker. Give it a chance to configure itself. Okay. 
Okay. Um. Yeah, the more I look at it now, I'm fairly confident this is dust. Um. So, what I'll possibly do is... I'm just going to split it and remove the first section. And what it's all about is just taking your time and just just seeing if you can find a <coughs> reason for the, for, for, for the anomaly. Um, and it's there. So what I'll do now is I'm going to slow it down. And it's no it doesn't it's no longer practically just circular. I think it's just a bit of might even be moisture actually. And then as it moves off, you can see you can see the like the vapour trail leaves behind. So undoubtedly I think that's dust now. You can always use um a little bit of um, video stabilization. Um, this is mostly due to things like a camera that's shaking. Uh, the camera's actually fixed, but if you've got a moving object that's moving all over the place, it can help that with that as well. Yeah, okay. Um, if you want to take it a stage further, let's just get it to its brightest point, which is there. You can go into visual effects, click on brightness, and you can darken it, or lighten it for that matter. And you can see that, that's the infrared, where it all goes bright white, that's the infrared off the, uh, off the camera. So... I think in view of that, um, I will save it, but undoubtedly, that's nothing more than um, than dust. Okay, I thought hopefully that's that's useful for you. Okay, bye.